Today on Rare Spirits and Gear, uh, I tell you all about the ins and outs of my YouTube channel. Today's video is a little different from the one I would probably typically make. Um, when I started this YouTube channel, I was just a guy in a bedroom kind of nerding out on gear and it has grown to a something much larger and different than that. And although I am by no means the biggest gear channel out there or anything like that, I thought it would be useful information to kind of pull back the curtain and kind of let you guys in on how this all works. And we're even gonna talk about how much I made last year. So the history of Rift Beards and Gear is really rooted in my own frustration of not being able to find the things that I was looking for, whether that be uh, how to phase two microphones together or how to reamp guitars, or just general information on things like, you know, two different overdrive pedals or something like that. I wanted something high quality, concise, and something informative enough so that I could make a decision on something that I was either trying to learn or trying to buy, really. And granted, the internet was a much different place in 2011 than it is today. Um, those are kind of still my, my common goals for this channel. I always want to give someone a chance to just kind of see someone else's perspective on a given piece of gear or piece of information so that they can then decide for themselves what they want to do, really. So I started this channel in 2011 and I'm going on 11 years, I think next month of this YouTube channel. And in that time, I have learned a lot. I've seen a lot. I've been called a lot. And I have been fortunate enough to kind of make this my living. And I think there's a lot of misconceptions on how something like this works. And my goal with this video is to just kind of let you in on my world and this YouTube channel. Now there's a few different kinds of videos that I make. Um, typically I will make um, gear demos, straight ahead traditional gear demos, traditional as, as in my tradition of making gear demos, which will include what I like to call fancy camera angles, really good lighting, very high quality uh, videos that will also include a full demo mixed song using that guitar, amp, pedal, or whatever. I also have other kinds of videos that aren't necessarily demo gear related that are the Ridiculous Reverb videos, the Raider Roast My Rig videos, uh, FAQ Mondays, and guitar tone recreation videos, just to name a few. So I'm not a strictly guitar gear nerd channel, but predominantly I would say that's what I'm known for. Now I am typically releasing about three to four videos every single week forever. And so I am plenty busy with lots and lots of videos and a huge portion of that is sponsored videos. And I guess we should probably talk about how that all works, at least for me. So a sponsored video is defined as anything I have been compensated for. I have to tell you guys and I have to disclose if something is sponsored. Now, whether I get to keep the pedal or the guitar or I am paid in cash, I have to let you guys know that I have been compensated and therefore if it's a sponsored video or not. Now, if I don't say it's a sponsored video, then it's not a sponsored video. But if it, I do say it's a sponsored video, I have been compensated in some way, shape or form. Now, a typical sponsored video works something like this. A company will reach out and they will say, hey, um, let's talk about getting our product on the channel. And sometimes that's an already released product. Sometimes uh, I work with that company to um, necessitate a product launch, uh, whether it be pedal, amp, guitar, whatever. And that will require a coordinated release date uh, at a specific time and day. Um, but other times it's, here's the thing, let us know when you have a video link for us to share. Very, very simple. Um, but what it is not is it's not a company telling me what to do or say. I will 100% of the time always make the video I'm gonna make and they do get to see it early just in case I get some specs wrong or something like that, which actually happens quite a bit, if I'm honest. Um, but typically, you know, I don't wanna, I don't wanna 
um, misrepresent uh, a particular amplifier if I get the wattage wrong or the specific feature incorrectly. So for this purpose, the, the companies will typically get to see the sponsored video before its actual release. However, they do not get any input in what I say or my opinion of the piece of gear. Now, I guess it's probably a good time to also mention that once I get the piece of gear, I still have an out. I don't have to make the video if I don't like that thing. And typically, I will generally make the video because I typically like to play and check out most things. There are things that you guys never see on this channel that I either get and return or just don't agree to uh, even check out in the first place, whether it be a plug-in, guitar pedal, guitar from some company or whatever. There are things that you guys don't see that I do get to check out, but typically, um, typically I, I have a pretty good idea if I'm gonna like it or not when the company contacts me. So how much does a sponsor video even pay? Well, that varies widely and it depends on the size of the company, the budget, if there's some huge conglomerate or some guy in his garage. However, I can tell you that it is typically between $1,000 and $2,000 per sponsored video, just depends on what it is. And after the video is out, I will then give them the master video file to use for Facebook ads and things like that. So at the end of the day, uh, the company sponsoring the video get that video asset to do with what they want. It's typically a lot of the sponsored videos that I see a lot of comments, negative, seemingly negative comments, uh, you know, corporate sellout or you're a shill, or you're just saying that because you were paid that's actually not how it works at all. And there is there is no corporate entity paying off people to say nice things. This is supposed to be my cigar. Um, that's typically not how it works. The reason why they're paying me to do something on my channels, they're paying me for the audience and, uh, and the views that I have cultivated for over a decade. That's what they're paying for. They're not paying for my opinion and they're not paying for you know, my kindness, that's, that, that is not how this works. They are paying me to spend the time to make things look good and to make things sound good and to edit all of those things together. That's where their money's going. So having said all of that, how much money did I make last year? Well, I can tell you for the year 2021, my AdSense generated just over $47,000 which is pretty decent. I think that equates to $22 an hour or roughly or something like that to, uh, to, to play guitar. I'm not complaining at all. Now of interesting note, it's not sponsored videos that actually are the bulk of the revenue generating videos for my channel. Uh, most of my revenue generating videos are the non demo videos. It's the ridiculous reverb listings. It's the Raider roast my rigs. It's the, the number one video of my entire channel last year was the uh, My Worst Gig Steve Vai video, believe it or not. So it just goes to show you that the gear, the perception that I'm making, uh, you know, my living off of gear demos, that's actually not true. I'm making my living off of reverb videos and uh, Raider Roast My Reg videos, which is weird to think. And that's it. That's my channel. I, I hope you have found that informative and I hope that you have learned something from learning about kind of the inner workings and peeking under uh, under the hood or behind the curtain of my YouTube channel and how I run things. Really at the end of the day, I'm just a dude who's uh, into playing guitar and getting cool guitar tones and uh, into checking out cool stuff. And uh, I do a lot of sponsored videos. I work with a lot of great companies. But at the end of the day, no one tells me how to run anything or say anything on this channel but me and maybe Gus, but he's asleep right now. So he's not telling me anything. You've been wonderful. I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.